So, will I live? I think the odds are in your favor. So, uh, <clears throat> where were you headed? At the Giant's Village for a wedding. I'm meeting my godmother. Well, that's on our way back to Lemire. We'll accompany you. Well, that's not necessary. But it makes it so much easier rescuing you if I don't have to commute. <sighs> I'm so glad I was here for this interesting development. <laughs> Look, I really appreciate You're the crazy. offer, but... Tell him to come with us. Come with us. So, traveling with an elf, your boyfriend couldn't make it? No. Oh. Because I don't have one. Oh. What about you? Your girlfriend doesn't mind being left alone? I don't have a girlfriend. Oh? I have many. Oh. I'm kidding. You shouldn't believe everything you read in medieval teen. Excuse me! Excuse me! Prince Charmant, permission to speak? Uh, sure. Uh, you know the word coincidence? Well, it just so happens I was on my way to meet a certain royal summon, the party of the first part, in order to discuss some career options currently unavailable to the party of... Slannan wants to petition the kingdom for the right to become a lawyer. A lawyer? Why not? There are no laws against it when your father was king. Well, th that's not really my area of expertise. My advice to you would be to talk to my uncle. I'm sure if you make a good argument, he'll come round. Well, thank you for your advice. What? You're about to become king. You'll have the power to make a difference in the world, and you don't even care. It's not like I asked to become king. I had no say in the matter. Well, thanks to your uncle, there are a lot of people who have no say in the matter. Nobody should be forced to do things they don't want to do. Take it from somebody who knows. Ella! Ella! Finished yet. You work until sundown. The giants have always been gentle. Why are they being treated like slaves? I'm sure my uncle doesn't know about this. He couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> 